G'day there and welcome to the first hero guide and today it is obvious that it's Boba Fett because we use Boba Fett the most and it was the most requested so in today's video I'm just going to discuss our in-depth hero guide of Boba Fett I'm not going to just do these quick ones that just get people views I'm actually going to talk you through it everything you need to know about him and I think he is without doubt the most um, discussed hero is he good or is he bad I think he's very good if you put some time and effort into him and then other places he can just be very fragile like last as I say so it's a bit of pros and cons with Boba but I'm going to teach you how to use him on my opinion on what my gameplay is with Boba so without further ado I'll get into the best star card loadouts for Galactic Soldier HVV, his best maps and what you need to do what heroes and villains what heroes to watch out for so we're just going to jump straight into it and explain all of these um, yeah, all of these um, pros and cons, I guess. So, let's get into it. Alright, let's get straight into the star card loadouts. And I don't want to muck around here because it's pretty straightforward with Boba. His cards aren't really that helpful, only a couple, apart from a few of them. So the first one you need on is quick refill. It refills when not being used, which is pretty key in Galactic Assault because you are sometimes not moving, you're maybe regening, you're maybe just there crouch and have a little bit of a scout or just... Um, Scout, yeah, obviously scouting the perimeter, and it's really good when not being used because when you run out of it, you don't want to be using it. It's just gonna refill a little bit quicker, so you can get back on your toes a little bit quicker. And then this one, you definitely need fuel efficiency. It just burns slower, so all it is when you're in the air, it just burns the fuel a little bit slower, which I think you need in Galactic Assault on those wide open maps. So. It's just going to maybe balance out how bad his jetpack really is. It's just going to help a little bit. It's not going to help drastically, but I definitely recommend those two on. You have to have those two on on Galactic Assault, otherwise one will defeat the other. Like, you can't just have one on and hope for the best, but um, yeah, you don't need that on at all. And then, of course, you need acute concussion on. This is what, make elite, this is what makes elite Bobas. Um, it's just going to help a lot more for acute concussion for the two seconds longer. It's going to obviously play tricks in their mind that they can cuss for a little bit longer, so they're going to stay clear. It's good to save in your skin. And obviously, two seconds is a long time for this concussion, like it is. It's not going to worry about it, but it does make a big difference considering how much Boba's cards are useless to him. I think he's got the most useless cards in the game. And because he's such a weak character, in my opinion, you need all the help you can get. And I think this is definitely a good card that can save your skin a lot. Uh, and Focalize, I only recommend if your aim is bad. Now, my aim is pretty good, so I don't have to use it anymore. But if you rely heavily on your rocket brush to get kills, by all means, equip it, because it will help. And it's probably good for finishing off heroes. There used to be a good card where it did extra bonus to heroes. I used to run that, but they changed it to this. But anyways, who cares about Star Wars updates? And then literally, all you want to do for HVV cards is switch this one out for that one. Now I know I said those two are together, but that's for wide open uh, Galactic Assault maps. You don't really need that much fuel in HVV because it's pretty tight and stuff like that, unless you're on ridiculously big, big maps, which I doubt you are. And it pretty much that one's good to just help your team out when not being used, because you are going to be playing like a bit of a coward in HVV. I'll explain that later, so passive is good for this one. And then obviously you want Born to Fly, his cooldowns are a bit faster while in air, which is probably, I'm going to say, 40 to 30% most of the time, so it does help, it comes back quicker. Just means your health regen starts a little bit longer, which it shouldn't matter if you're playing so passive like that, like it should just cut it out at all. But this one definitely helps your team by concussing the enemy blasters a lot longer. Uh, like a lot more, sorry, and Rocket Barrage for finishing off those Saber heroes, and of course staying in the air along with that middle ability. And then Acute Concussion, which you need in HUV. This is definitely the difference of having a great Boba supporting your squad with Acute Concussion. Concussion for two seconds longer is, as I said, a huge it. So this is, a, this is a must, you have, you have to have this one on no matter what. And Focalize, I think, is completely useless for HVV considering they have such big health, these heroes really doesn't do much when Rock Brush is only there for a little bit of a finisher or just a little bit of a yeah it's not his best move but you got to rely on his gun more than that so that's what I think it is but anyways there goes the star cards all loaded out for you make sure you put them on and it will help I guarantee you that and before I discuss it I am actually not the best Boba Fett player there's he's better than me but 
I'm sure they're probably going to watch this and think um, I'm better Boba than you, but yeah, you are, you are, but I'm just explaining my point of view on what I think I do with Boba and how it works for me. So, Boba Fett is just overall a great character, his health isn't the best, it's a, uh, what is it, 600, so 600 isn't that much, and he's got the lowest health in the game, and his health reduction, yeah, it's alright, like he can just, he just... You shouldn't really be in the situation where you get blasted. You should always be moving, so without if you're running out of jetpack fuel, that's probably when you're going to die and just get absolutely blasted. But um, I think he's probably got one of the most helpful moves in the game. Like, it really does help when you have that middle ability that lets you fly a little bit longer. Like, it really helps, but um, his jetpack isn't that good. People that use him that are a little bit better with him make it look like his jetpack's good, but it's not. So if you struggle with the jetpack, you're not the first. Um, his rock barrage is pretty handy. It's usually good f in hero vs villains to just finish off heroes if they're blocking and stuff like that. But in Galactic Assault, it's really good to just try take down a group or if your gun's like out of cooldown, you just use it. Um, his concussion rocket's very helpful to disable blasters. Don't use it if they're not a blaster, so Galactic Assault, use it on anyone, but don't use it on light side saber heroes, like it's not going to do much apart from blind them, unless they're chasing after you, you use it and then dash behind them, hit them and stuff, but yeah, I wouldn't use it that much on uh, saber heroes, but um, I think his gun is very good, I think it is without doubt the best gun in the game apart from Han Solo's, like it is just that good, it bursts, it just it can kill you in one burst, that's how good it is. And I'm sure the people that know that I've been accused of being a hacker on this, especially this game right here that I'm playing, but um, I always get accused of hacking on PC, not PlayStation. I'm more of a PC boba, I would admit it, but yeah, I don't know. It's something about PC that really gets me going, I think it's the field of view, but... Uh, no, his gun's very good. Just again, guys, jump into some co-op games or even arcade. It does help, that's what I did with Boba, and it really helped um, with all the co-op upgrading my heroes for PC. That's why I think I'm a better Boba now, because I can aim. I know what to do, I know how to use that jetpack, it's just really good. Just try doing what I just did then, just try running at enemies. Switch up your game, don't play passive unless it's HPV, just run at people, or fly at people. And there's different strategies you can, you can use, but um, he's also very good at taking down heroes. Most people are like, oh, Boba, he's got to stay away, he's got to play like a Grievous, just just hide. No. He can come out of anywhere and just take out a hero in one hit. This Lando, watch here. Destroyed. That's just one hero. But even though he got me at the say, yeah, but it's just too good. And I got accused of hacking this game. There goes Yoda. It's just, that's two heroes in literally, what, five minutes, and then we got another one. Just I go for a fin. It's just really good. Well, that's not the fin. Coming up later. But, um... He's very good at taking out heroes. You just get above him. You play smart. You don't have to do the stupid things where you go up to him, concuss him, use a rocket barrage. The aim will get him from above. Blaster heroes are so easy to take out. You just run at him. Go high. Because you're above him. You can get the headshot. It's just so simple. It's, it's, it's really easy to use once you get used to it. I call it duck diving, but I'm sure everyone does. It's called duck diving. Just go down. Go down on him. Jump on him. And there's a perfect example there, duck dive, use your rocket barrage and finish it off the gun. And that's a pretty good simple tactic you use with rocket barrage. You hold rocket barrage down and you keep shooting at the same time, just hold R2 down and it'll get that extra little burst in. But um, yeah, so apart from that, the heroes to worry about for Boba. Now, you're probably going to look at me and probably think, and, oh, they're nothing to worry about, but I don't have Finn in here. Finn is really easy to counter because when he uses his dead eye target lock, concuss it and I've actually learned from a few boys that actually do play Boba that concuss them I never knew this but you have to chuck it in front of them chuck it in front of them and that will disable their gun okay so to worry about firstly you have to worry about a Chewie Chewies are going to destroy you okay so one hit and you're out of the sky just like fragile like glass but one hit on Chewie and you're gone. So you can easily kind of disable his gun, his bow cast, but there's a few glitches where you can't. So if you see a Chewie in Galactic Assault or HPV, be wary, just stay away, just stay calm. And another one is obviously Han. Han can blitz you. It's pretty simple. Like, if you're a good Han, you can easily counter a Boba. Just use your Dead Knight Charger, hit him out of the air, use your Sharp Shot if he concusses you. Like, it's pretty easy from a Han's point of view to just melt. Just absolutely melt. It's like three hits to the just three good hits and you're pretty much dead so 
if again if you're Boba, just be wary of him. Just stay clear of Han. Make sure you got a little bit of leeway. And third party him if you have to. Same with Chewie. Just third party him. If you see him getting attacked, that's when you hit. You don't want to take him one on one unless you're duck diving from pretty high. But that's not going to happen because it doesn't happen nowadays without with all the targeting and shit happening. And the last one is Anakin. Do I need to say anything about an Anakin? I'm pretty good because I'm an experienced Boba and uh, dodging an Anakin, but you want to be very wary. One pull and one heroic might, and you're dead, especially in front of a team. It's pretty simple, it's pretty clear cut, but um, no, you have to be wary of Anakin. You can dodge him with the thing, but I just say stay clear of an Anakin, okay? Stay clear of him. That's all you got to do with Boba. Okay, so moving on to his favourite, well, not his favourite map, his best suited maps from my point of view, and we're already on it, is Hoff. Hoff is just such a good map for Boba. The first phase, you can go ballistic. It is in the air, you've got to stay away from strafers, they can't keep up with you. And most of you are going to think, oh, what do you do second phase, third phase? Actually, third phase for Boba on Hoff is probably the best hero. That section at the end is it goes pretty high you just got to realize and they're not going to be thinking you're going to be that high on the end phase of um, Hoff so it just works out well a good person that demonstrates a good Hoff game is Roham he's very good at Hoff he has a few streaks there he got a big hundred one there so guys I'm going to link him in the description so you can go have a look at that and I'll probably link his video as well because he really shows you how to play Boba on Hoff and he actually taught me second phase is pretty difficult it is, but if you have a good enough team, you should be able to hold the objective or cap it slowly, but um, you just got to worry about getting in here and just, if you're feeling confident, you can run around like I usually do, but if you're taking damage and you got to get out of there, go on top of the Millennium Falcon. No one can meet you there except for Rocket Troopers, uh, Jedi, and that's about it. Like, Rocket Troopers are pretty easy to kill, I'm not going to, but Jedi's, yeah, you, there's a few tricks, you dash behind them, hit him in the head. I can't really teach you that because it just comes naturally, I guess, but um, I do take damage very soon in this video here, and I just go straight to the Millennium Falcon. It's just higher ground. It makes sense. No one can get up there, and you can just do some cheeky one-hitters one on them and then get your health back slowly, but yeah, Hoff is a bit of a disadvantage, I must say, second phase for Boba, but other than that, I think... Yeah, sorry about my cold, guys, as well. I've had a cold for ages, um, but... See, I just got on the Millennium Falcon. I'm under a bit of pressure, even though there's a Wookiee there. But it's easy money, okay? You're just looking down on them. No one can, no one's going to expect anyone to be up there because literally only Boba can get up there from the other team. So it just makes sense. You've got that scanner to just check around. So it really helps. And I don't know. I think Hoff is a good starter map for all of you. But rather than the other ones, Hoff is a bit difficult for second phase if you're just a Boba coming in. But... Uh, he's definitely well suited on Hoff. This section's his best. Third phase, like, no one's going to expect anyone to be that high. And you can always come up here. It's a nice little landing platform that no one's going to be. Just got to clear it first, which is easy. And here's the duck dive. Just duck dive on all of them. It's easy as. It works well. That's a good strategy for Boba. Go high, come up higher. And then no one's going to be expecting you. So, Hoff is a difficult map, as I said before, but... If you want to learn Boba, and you want to play him, if you can play on Hoff, you're going to be a good Boba, trust me. It's a very fun, strategical, and well-balanced map with Boba. Like, you got to know your uh, moves ahead of time, and it really does help. It's very uh, mentally draining, but yeah. Moving on, we do have Yavin, and you can't really complain much about Yavin here with Boba. He's just going to blend in well. All the right corners are for him there. He can stay a little bit higher than everyone else, and... Someone who really demonstrates that well is Roham, and he recently cracked 139 kill streak as well. So, I suggest you watch that if you want to learn different paths. I think paths and just to, uh, you know, have your own little way you go every time is really going to help you. Like you're not going to die. You're just going to be, you're going to be ahead of t ahead of time if that makes sense. Cheating, but yeah, trees really do help, and you'll see it later on, I guess. Because I have the most success on Yavin because obviously Boba's green, he's going to blend in with the trees very well and if you're coming from high ground, like you should be on Yavin, like there's heaps of spots you can go if you're pretty low, you just want to pick on a little bit of health which is on top of this temple, I don't show it in this video but if, you're, you, if you are starting as a Boba, 
go go on top of there trust me it will help you it will show you that you can dominate from the top but you can't contest it you kind of got to rely on a pretty decent team to do that but i have done it before where i've had to jump down contest it try to get a few kills jump back up wait for my team so yavin is pretty good for boba definitely on that temple you want to take the forest camp first as boba you don't ever want the control station first okay because you're, if that has to contest the forest camp, you're going to be in a lot of trouble with Boba. You just got to have a good team. It can be done, but you'd rather control station just to help your team pick off those easy enemies and also keep yourself alive. Um, third phase of Yavin is pretty easy. It's just open. Like it's probably the easiest phase for Boba on any map. It is obviously this because. You know, you can just fly around, come above them. Just got to watch for that gunship up top, whatever that's called. Holy shit, that melts me sometimes. But um, try not to go in here where I am here. Unless you got the hang of it, you're feeling pretty cocky or confident. Because I'm usually cocky. And just run at people like that. And, yep, when your gun's overheated, use your rocket barrage. But I was talking about those cars before, earlier. If you want that extra rocket barrage, you can. But I don't recommend it only because you want to stay in the air and you want your rocket fuel a little bit better. So you've got to have those two other cards on plus the acute concussion. But if you're trying to go for a kill streak, which I'm sure most of you probably will, you want all your kills here. Just go super aggressive. After that second phase, go super aggressive for there because you're going to come in here and go very slow. Because I only... I only pick off like another extra 10 kills here and this is the only little section here where you can dominate is just this little middle section but it's not the objective is it and if you're carrying a team you got to get in there somehow so I recommend try to hold the spawn through the middle here and use your scanner to go off the grid so they don't know you're coming in and then just go in simply and it, it works most of the time but yeah you're just going to run into Anakin's like that or Luke spamming Luke so like it does happen and don't be mad if it does happen it just means you've probably made a little bit of a false move but it's not the end of the world but Galactic Assault on Yavin 4 is a little bit easier and just until this phase I hate this phase because I always go Boba, Boba on Yavin so kind of just I just disagree on Yavin and moving on we have Kashyyyk and Kashyyyk is Boba's best map you can't discuss it. I know heaps of you hate Kashyyyk, Steve and Frank. I, I know you guys hate it, but guys, it is such a good map for Boba starters. You cannot die. You cannot die. There's so many tricks to this map that you just don't know. Those things that above me right now, you can get on top of there and just snipe if you want. If you're good enough, if you're going, but as I do, I just run around like an idiot. Just try to get as many kills as possible, but... Kashyyyk is definitely his best map, like, hands down, you're not going to get a better map. It's just so open, you blend with the trees, I do have a skin on here so he's not actually blue, and um, you just blend in well, you can go really high on this map, you can dolphin dive here, dolphin dive, whatever you want to do, whatever it's called, I, can't, I don't even know what it's called anymore. There's so many names to call it where you just come from above and just take him out, and you can play the objective really easily, because I'm kind of a lazy person on this game now I've kind of given up so I just go Boba whenever I want a big kill streak or a quick kill streak so especially if you can just fly to the objective and as I do I have to carry my team mostly on PC so a good chance for me to prove it is on Kashyyyk with Boba you just fly to that objective really stop them see we're already 57 tickets down on this game but look at me I'm just flying across I can easily stop them and it's very easy to play the objective of Boba if you're one of those players like Boba mostly oh, he can't contest zones or anything but he's perfect for this and Naboo uh, Yavin just to contest those zones and the disruptors of course it's pretty easy for Boba it's easy muddy yeah. once you get the hand of that aim you can really like on the run snipe him in midair like it's pretty good it's easy but um yeah just it, Kashyyyk is just if you see Kashyyyk and you're a good Boba player, you just don't want to miss it. I'm sure it goes for everyone here, but um, definitely me. I love Kashyyyk. I've loved it ever since the launch came out, and I just continue to enjoy it every time I... Like, I never used to be a Boba player, but now I am, so that's why I love Kashyyyk even more. And I knew that Boba was just excellent on Kashyyyk, so I was like, I have to get good with Boba, so I did. I learnt some from a different uh, uh, from different people, I guess, combined my skills together and see what I could do just to try my, make myself a, the best Boba I can. And I believe I've, I'm almost there. That's why I'm happy to give a guide out. Like, 
usually I wouldn't be confident to do this. Boba would be my last character, but now he is. And you can't go wrong with Kashyyyk, so if you see it, make sure you go Boba. But don't go anyone else, and you can easily pick off heroes here. Just be smart about it. Don't go for 1v1s. You've got to third party these guys, okay? Even though there it's kind of a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's a fin. I was probably thinking to myself, shit, it's a fin. I've got to kill him. So that's the only real excuses there. It's just super easy for Boba just to fly around, get to the objective, get as many kills as you want. And if you're selfish like me, I'll admit it, I'm a very selfish person in this game. Like, I like, I, it's almost my streaks first, then the objective. And I know a lot of you are going to say, oh shit, he doesn't play the objective. I do, if need be. And right now, I do not need to play it. So I'm just going to go for as many kills as possible. But be aware with those ARC troopers in this game, I don't know how many have just accidentally knocked me out of the air and stunned me and then I'm dead. It's just ridiculous. And of course the heroes on Kashyyyk are pretty much vulnerable until the turbo tanks, but turbo tanks is very difficult. I've experienced it, it's destroyed my streaks on 60 or 70 every time I get to the turbo tanks and I do not have a good team. You have to rush one first. I left this one too late right here and I had no chance. I had no chance. And Boba is. He can't get in there without taking damage. Like, you have to stay out here. And I, if you want to help your team, it may sound a little bit selfish. Go to the spawn. Hold the spawn. That is the best thing for them. So they can't get, reach back to the turbo tank and hopefully let your team do it. Like, you can't do it. I, I've tried so many strategies how to do it. I go use my concussion rocket. I use my things to go off the scan. I use my rocket barrage to try to scare him away. It just doesn't work. And everyone sees Boba as an easy threat in there, but... There's not much you can do. Like, look how many there are. That's how much there usually is in there. And if your team's not pushing in, you're just going to have to wait for a good hero and maybe go in with the hero. But I can't offer much advice for Kashyyyk here or with Bo, but, like, you're just going to have to rely on luck of the draw, I guess, here. But, see, I have to go in now, and I literally try everything. Concussion rocket, dash, dash. Use my rocket barrage to try to scare him off. It just doesn't work. It ends up being a good play, but it destroys my streak in the end, so... Turbo tanks, Kashyyyk, don't work well for Bo, but I just hope you got a good team or a good hero that can push with you up, but... Yeah, it's not much you can do there. And, moving on, we have Naboo. Naboo is Boba's best map. In my opinion, they're all good for Boba, but Naboo's just got something about it. Ever since that beta, if anyone played the beta, they gave us Boba. Which was... I was so stoked. I used to play that dude non-stop. My Boba was like... Level level 40 before the game even started. But, um, yeah, he's crazy here at Kashyyyk. Oh, not Kashyyyk, sorry, Naboo. Sorry, guys, the cold's getting to me. But, um, there's a few things to worry about. That gunship, as you just saw before, and usually just heavies in general. The ones that want to play the objective will knock you out of the air, and like that. They will knock you out of the air, they will burst your health away. It's just, it's... It's very bad, but it is, but there's not much you can do. You're just going to get ragdolled there, and there's not much you can do, but... See, you just get blasted. He's very fragile like glass. You've got to come from above. I show it really well here, guys. See how there's a few there? They're easy kills. They think I've run away. Just go high. Duck dive on them. It's going to work well. Trust me. If they put a shield down, always run down and use your rocket barrage. I didn't have it there, but use it before you go. I got a little bit cocky here because... I don't know why, because I do. And yeah, you can get up here on Naboo, guys. You can get up so many spots in Naboo you don't even know about, just to help yourself. Like, get away from enemy heroes, or the tanks. Tanks are pretty bad here as well, like, you got to watch them. But, again, if you're Boba, you can just stay in the air and you'll be sweet. But, um, uh, he's very good at playing the objective here, too. And if you got good with that gun, you probably don't even need to use your rocket barrage here. Like, I even forget to use it. Like, I just rely on my concussion rocket and aim. But it's pretty easy to help um, kill helpless heroes out here because heroes on Naboo are usually playing the objective. I'm usually going for a streak, so I'm usually in their spawn, but you can easily kill a hero at Boba if you want to be annoying, but I just let them go unless they're annoying me, so... Because I just love Naboo. I just love trying to get streaks here. I just love going ballistic and see, if it, see how it goes. See, just roll the dice, but... Yeah, this first phase is the best for him no matter what. You can just come from above, come from buildings, come from anywhere. There's so many spots on the boo where you can just hide and play the objective. Like, I just missed out there, but I've almost stopped at the objective four times just in like two dashes. 
Use, use your flamethrower only if you're close to them. It kind of lags out a little bit. I'd rather just shoot out, so don't use the flamethrower as much. It's practically useless. Looks cool though, so that's why I use it. But um, no, he's he's very good to use on Naboo. But key things to just worry about on Naboo is the gunships, of course. Heavies. Heavies are pretty bad. Enemy heroes, if they do pick Anakin or Han or Chewie. And that's pretty much it for first phase. And this phase, I hate. I hate with Boba. Like, I don't know how to master this second and first phase. I never have, but because I just love Naboo, I have to put it up there as one of his strength maps, which it is. That first phase, you can crack up to a 50 or 60 kill streak, but I always choke here, and I'm sure a lot of people do. Like, it's ridiculously hard. Another person that really shows it well, and he is pretty much a sweat boba because he goes no one else, is Roham. So make sure you watch his videos in the description. Give him a sub because he is probably the best Galactic Assault Boba I've seen. And there's just a few other HVV boys I'm going to mention later for the HVV mode. But um, maybe on here, you want to run that extra rocket barrage radius because it's going to help you rack up those kills. And there you go. Watch out for those Anakins. They're always going to get you, which they do. And not much more to say before we get into HVV about Galactic Assault. It's just a game mode you got to master, okay? It's pretty easy, but... Again, just got to pick your right maps and know your strengths and weaknesses. It's pretty simple. Stay in the area as long as you can. Duck dive. Use all those strategies I told you about. Concuss them at their feet and you shall be right. But HVV is a, just a completely different thing with Boba. I didn't realize until I started playing these competitive HVVs and playing Boba. And I was like, what the hell is going on? I have no idea. I can't run at people. Stay passive. Third party everything. Okay? The, everyone, all my sweat friends, HVV mates, just say third party, play like a coward with Boba, which is so true. It helps your team so much. It saves tickets for your team because Boba can be an easy kill. Just stay out of the actions. Keep your distance from all these people and you will have a better time with Boba. And again, any map for Boba is pretty good um, on HVV because it's completely different. It's not Galactic Assault. Don't have to worry about anything. Um... But again, it really depends what your team's going to go. You want some sabers in there for Boba just to do his own thing and take care of him. But it's just really easy to melt health away. But you just got to stay passive. You're not going to, as I am right now, 1v1ing. You're not going to 1v1 many people. You're not going to get that chance. And if you do, keep your distance like I just did. Keep on the run. Keep on the move. Keep firing your gun. And they're probably going to die because they're not going to keep up with you, are they? Stay high, and there's a few tactics um, to use with Boba in HEV. One is spawn camping, and I never knew what spawn camping was until some blasters started annoying me. If you see a Han or a Sierra Leia or a Chewie even or a Sweaty Lando, you have to spawn camp them. Don't let them get back in because they can crucially help their team. So what you want to do is, I probably did it to that guy then, as soon as he dies, you go straight into the air, find where he spawns, and get another kill on him. Because it's pretty easy. Like, I, I, I was doing it to this guy the whole game because he kept going blasters. And it really helps because he's just going to think, Oh, where the shit... Where, where's this dude coming from? He's already spawning in. And see how I just did then? Play passive. Just get a few hits on him. Run away. He's probably going to be trying to heal up or regroup. And that's when you go back in. Wait for all your abilities. Use that concussion rocket. I fucked that up. You're meant to chuck it in the middle. Oh, in front of him, and then bang, because I got there so quick, so it doesn't matter. There's another spawn camp, I was going to try to do it again, but just try keep her, or Leo, or any of these blasters away from your team. And Lando somehow snuck past me, I was trying to do a good job on that, but just keep them away from your sabers. Let them deal with sabers, so you can come in like this in third party. It always helps, and then your job is pretty much just spawn camp in third party, the sabers, which is pretty easy. And now, I'm not the best bow, but... Um, HV, I'm probably a mediocre bow at HVV, but I'm going to leave some more people in the description right now. People you want to watch playing Boba, uh, I'm pretty sure m some of you have probably heard of Skucky. He's probably probably regarded the best Boba in HV I've ever seen. Um, so make sure you sub to him. I think he plays one of the best Bobas. He's definitely a coward, no offense, Skucky, but he never dies, he gets that kill streak winded up, he spawn camps well, he's got all the strategies. Another one is Max. Now, I'm going to suggest Max because he's actually the one that comes onto my stream sometimes and teaches me how to play Boba, which I really appreciate, so does Skucky, but he's also a very good Boba, so I'd watch him as well. 
Alcatraz, I think, is a very good Boba, so I'm going to leave his uh, link in the description as well. He plays a very nice, tidy Boba, like just a HVV sweat Boba. All of these guys do. Roham doesn't play Boba, so I'm not going to worry about him for HVV if you guys are maining HVV. Uh, Noodle's another one. I might leave his uh, link in the description. I'm not sure if he's got YouTube, but I'm pretty sure he does, so I'll try to find that as well. But if you guys watch all of these guys, combine your own Boba together with my Galactic Assault Boba, you're going to have no problem at all. Like, you just learn everything, what you need to know, the true basics, these best maps, his best star card loadouts for best modes. It's going to help you drastically. No matter how much people say oh and you're never going to learn boba if you have the right cards the right mentality the right tactics and right everything just everything that's going to help that little bit more you're going to be good and i think the best thing is just watch gameplay i know it kind of sounds boring because i'm not the one that likes to watch gameplay i'd rather just play it but i learned from tavik and all these other guys that i just said before and tried to, I said it before, tried to combine a boba to just help myself and just really stand out and hopefully become one of the best bobas I could be, which I think I'm at. I'm not going to improve. And I think gameplay definitely helped me the most, but also getting into arcade and all that stuff really helped. But if you're going to want to main it in HVV, I can't help. My HVV Boba gameplay is not as good as these other guys, so make sure you go into their description and watch them. So, Galactic Assault, I'm all there. But uh, hopefully this tutorial really helped you, and there's going to be plenty more to come. But um, let me know who you want to have, and let me know how your progress goes with Boba. I want to know if it actually helped you, but it's an in-depth discussion, so hopefully it did. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and it made all sense. Any questions, let me know. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.